Word. Welcome to Dad Shop. Welcome back. Word. You know what I'm saying? 2020, COVID in full effect. Um, it's been bananas, but here we be. So Chuck welcome and back Jay. to Dad Shop, where we chop, 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 chop it, it up. up. Dad style. Can't see my finger? What? Can't see that? So we were just talking about these vinyl pools that everybody seemed to have bought up this summer. Yeah, you know, we happen to buy the same one. So yeah, we had the same pool. And yeah. Man, it's been crazy because we didn't assemble the pool last year because I was hospitalized. And this year we pulled it out. It had all the holes in the vinyl. So after we filled it up and got ready to try to just get in it and swim, we realized we had to do some repairs. So we've been repairing this thing all summer long thus far. Even if it's not summer, we're close enough that it's hot and you want to get in the pool and swim and it's cool 94 off. 94 degrees just today. Right? I'm already sweating. I know, I'm here. moist as a man. Right? But I'm also drinking coffee out of the coveted Dallas Cowboy mug. That's right, Dallas. All hail back. <laughs> New York Giants fan. And by the way, congratulations on your acquisition of Coach Garrett. Maybe he'll clap for you too. <laughs> Coach clap! <laughs> I'm sad about that. Yeah. Let's get back on the pool thing because, you know, I'm right. in a good mood. Right? So I'm in a good mood. Let's talk about the pool, man. Even if it means that it was kind of crappy. Um, no, I think it's been all right so far. My son's in it, cleaning it right now. You got one of those cool, like, vacuum cleaners. And I have one of the ones that, it's a vacuum, but it sprays the stuff into the bag. And all the dirt particles still come yeah, out. The sediment back still into comes the out of the top, yeah, right? It's all the dirt, and it's like, and you're like, why is so that? So we're trying to that? jerry rig it, and put so in that like, it doesn't. Yeah, but, but, Walmart bags and shit, right. tying trash bags so it'll catch the dirt. The cool thing with this bag, it had three versions of it. It had, um, I think the first version was like ninety nine dollars. This was the hundred and twenty six dollar bag, and then there was the, the, uh, like two or three hundred dollar yeah, one, and I was like, I ain't, wasn't trying to stretch that far. But the second level I bought, and I bought that pole for it, and you basically just click it right in, just and then, yeah, and it's got wheels on the bottom, oh, and there's cool. a roll on the bottom so of the pool, glide. right, and so man, as long as you're doing that, and then it that. goes right into the filter, man, and then the filter <coughs> is housed, oh, new puppy, the filter is housed inside of a case, oh, okay. so then that way nothing's blowing back out. That's to, cool, and they you know, just have to take it pool. out and dump it, and then and just, you just take it out. You take the filter out, and you can rinse it real quick, and then stick that little stick filter back in. Back in See, and go that's back what to I it. need, man. Because uh, so I forgot to tell you, I recently got my roof redone. Oh, word! And uh, it we looks had to nice. Get the, we had to get these fools to come back and fix that one because that the, spot. The part, cause, yeah. Oh, I, well, I didn't tell you. Um, we we got a leak in the kitchen. Oh shit! Yeah, right over the stove. That sucks. And uh, so whoever used to live there before us. Uh, you could see had a hood there, mm -hmm. and they took the hood out, and all they did was just cover it. Spackle they didn't, didn't do all do the shit they were. With it. Right. Yeah. So over time, it's been raining, and then and now it started. So now. Yeah. So I had a puddle all over the stove. And, Whack. See, yeah, so. craftsmanship, man. If you go to somebody's house, dude, and you tell them that you this is your specialty and this is what you do, then do it. Then do it. Don't. 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 You're putting your name behind that. Right. You know what, you mean? know what I'm saying? Like, and if it was the owner who did it, well, then, you know, Cut hey, I said DIY shit where, you know, we go on YouTube and we think we even found out how to do it. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, yes. if I'm going to do things like that major, I always I always prefer to try to pay somebody to come and do it. Right. So I can hold knows, somebody accountable. One, right. <laughs> I got a professional. Two, yeah. And three, if you fucked it up, I'm going to call you back and you're going to come and fix what I paid for already. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so uh, with all that shit going on, Hey, two, stop. He bites the crap out of him. Sorry, it's the puppy jumping on the other puppy, chewing it. They're, they're feuding. I, I thought the turtle had somebody. I, did I was too. like, yeah, oh my I god, I gotta go grab somebody's leg out the turtle's <laughs> mouth, man. I've done that already a little buddy. three times. Hey, cheesecake. Hey, cheesecake, come and say hi. So, anyway, so in the midst of all that, right. um, we put the pull up, and then um, that night it was really windy. So all the roof sediment fell off into the pool. Oh, um, we had the we had the cover on, right? 
and then it landed on the cover, the cover, and then the fucking wind. Those, those covers suck. See that one laying yeah, over there? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. That them, son of a and you're supposed sick. to just tie it. Right, and you try no, to tie man. It, it always no. sucks in. Yeah. You always find it in the pool the next yeah. morning. Yeah. Or, but like, oh, it's still tied, but the rest right, of the time right, is off the side of the fucking pool. Mine never makes it off to the side. Yeah, it always just sinks. And then it's inside yeah. the pool. Well, so then so you have to that's pull what, it all out and get the water off. I'm just like, yeah. oh my and God. And that's what happened. So all the roof sediment got went onto, on it, yeah. And then went inside. And then, yeah. And so there was dirt and the roof sediment and the coal was pissed. And the leaves yeah. and all that shit. Yeah. Because see the, see the apple tree, I cut it. Oh, I cut that see, myself. See, luckily I don't have that problem. I don't have any trees in the yard. I cut that myself. And it's growing the apples again. The apples are like looking really good. They're like nice size. When it before I pruned it, which I wasn't really trying to prune it, I yeah. was really trying to just cut it so that it wasn't in the way. Looking like a bonsai right. apple tree. Right, I know it's crazy because it's like none of those leaves were on it. And I was like, I think I've killed the tree. <laughs> I was like, I thought I killed that sucker. Yeah. And then come to find out, I didn't. And now it's actually it looks, blooming and yeah. doing good. And then, um, for bonsai, I paid to have this tree cut. Okay. So the tree, how it was over everybody's yeah. yard and everything, they cut it down into my yard. Oh, okay. And so, this, and then you were able to avoid all the power lines, how right, to do it they, yourself, and right, that right. shit happens. Baca trees. Anybody who needs a tree cut out here in Albuquerque or in New Mexico, Baca trees is who I called, and they they tax me, but. They cut that fucker the way I wanted it cut, finally, and so now my tree is in my yard. But when when you but when you get up and look at this thing when we're done, mm -hmm. I want you to see how full it is. It's almost like them cutting it made it just go. Rah! So just, it's like just like the, how a rose right. plant does. You, right. You do the clippings, right. and then next year it goes. So it's all yeah. so the leaves are massive, and I told Erica I was like, God dang man, that sucks because I I usually. You were hoping with, it was with, gonna do the opposite. Right. Well, not necessarily too not 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 well, so you know, much, but, but I but yeah, but I figured if I could rake twelve bags of leaves this year, that'd be great. Normally I rake up to thirty three bags a freaking year yeah. off that tree. I'm, I'm so, glad I don't have no trees. Right. So for I that mean, thing to bushes, be done trees. that thing to be done, I was like, awesome. So I was thinking it's gonna have limited leaves, but guess what? It's not gonna be the case. That thing is full. But nonetheless, I feel you with the sediment and everything going in the pool because yeah. that's exactly what happens from up there. All that dust and all yep. that leaves and all the stuff yeah. from my neighbor's plants blow yeah. over here. And then I'm just like, then I'm stuck. Well, and what I had to do with our pool oh my is God. What that. Is doing? See, that's my 13 year old mind trying to clean the filter. But I get what he's doing. Yeah. He's trying not to get it all wet down here yeah. where the dogs are going to be playing at. Right, in the mud grass. and then track it in. So I get that, but then he went up there and made mud. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, it's just, lesser just, of two evils. Right? I'm like, just rinse it, it real quick right? and then just run Why don't you just do it, right? it over the sidewalk and then you don't have to worry about none of that? That's not how his brain works sometimes. <laughs> he could have even gone and got the mop bucket out of the house, filled that with water, and then and just drained like that. that and then just done it that way. But so, I don't know, it's okay. But yeah, thank so God I don't have any the trees. Teenage anymore. mind. Yeah. And, uh, um. Oh, so when. Uh, when, uh, oh, God damn it. The sediment. You want to touch that? No, I don't. I need sure. to see it. Pay homage. Man, I still got to see it. Even when I'm not looking at it, I got to see it. <laughs> Anyways, it's so, close, huh? uh, no. what I... It looks like I'm right by you, actually over here, but I'm totally right here. Have, have a sit. <laughs> Just kidding. Right. Ahead, Anyways. Sir. Uh, so when we got the pool, what I did, my ground is uneven in the yard. So what I did is uh, I bought two by fours. Oh, nice. And then uh, I cut out, well, they're 12 by 12. So I did a 12 by 12, you know, square. I Little dug fun. it out and then I got sand. Ah, yeah, I do. That's dope. I bet you that feels good as hell when you guys are walking on it. Yeah. And you're like, because I got. Yeah. All I got is lumpy dugout over here, so I got rocks and everything. <laughs> so what I did, what uh, we tried to do was take yeah. the shovel and push the rocks yeah. and even out the ground and well, all and that what, well, stuff. Well, what I did too, and but I didn't that's think, about, I didn't even think about, was that. that, but the poles still sink into the into sand, sand because of right, the weight. Right, right. You know. But they, um, do, they do that so, anyway. Yeah, well, so what I ended up doing is uh, I have pavers in my backyard, and some of them are cut in half, so I just use those. 
um, I lifted the post and I had Nicole uh, slide the Put paver the underneath. Yeah. And so the paver is nice and flat on gotcha. the sand. And so now the water is level. Right. And so now it's right. just dealing with the dust and, you know. See, and that's, and I figured what we're going to do is just kind of handle it this year. And then I was going to devise a, a plan for next year's assembly. Like just pretty much like you did, you know, yeah. just. Well, if you need help, let me know. Cause hanging I, out. Because cause, uh, what I'd really like to do ideally go to Matt's pool supply like they have that long pool mm -hmm. and then they have that frame built around mm -hmm. it and they'll do that kind of work the deck yeah the decking. yeah and that's what I said I would love to freaking put like to do that to do that and put a deck out here that would and be then cool. drop the pool in that wooden frame and then bam everything's Choice. handled and then I've got an actual pool without spending ten thousand dollars to have an actual pool. pool right right yep Dude, well, that's, that's a and good that's, idea. And that's why I wasn't bitching about this, because I told Tristan we could just frame this up yeah. if, if he and I wanted to. And, and know, just we'll take it, it down and just build around yeah. it or build up and then stick that back inside our new frame. That would be And cool then too. you have your deck. And then your deck being wood mm -hmm. will probably host play host to your tarp way better, better. Yeah. then you can probably make a few like tie points and then tie, and then it, tie to it there to yeah. the deck that's and now that's just not and then when out. you put when you do get the deck built you put the lack the waterproof lacquer and all that stuff right, on it right because yeah. what i was thinking of doing is after we empty it this year mm -hmm. is actually taking and uh flex sealing the whole thing once it's oh, empty yeah dude i want to get some of that right stuff. and then just make it happen and then that way when it dries and we put it away, we know when we assemble it next year, it's been flex sealed and nice. ain't nothing going to be dripping out of nothing. Nice. So that was that was an idea. Um, I don't know. This is uh, yeah, Bad Brooklyn, Shop Brooklyn. again, pool edition. Just yes. letting you know. Just Summer pool mind. edition. Summer pool for the hot pool. Lotion-y. <laughs> It puts, it puts the lotion on <laughs> where it gets the hose. It takes the lotion from the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I, was but it's, of... I gotta say, it's good to reunite with you, brother, man, yeah, with man. all this craziness, man. I didn't really anticipate um, this happening, but it's been nice that it has because I feel like I got a chance to like really hang out with my family had a chance to really just like kind of be together and even if the kids are like off doing their own thing within the house or whatever like I just know we're all here yeah. and it's been kind of chill like I've, I've kind of act, I've, I've actually enjoyed that fact in my head now as far as the, the trade the trade-off is there's tons more laundry all the time so dishes. I'm forever doing that there's always dishes like I don't think the sink is I'm always doing those like my chore list if I thought I had chores before just as a stay-at-home parent, mm -hmm. woo, it has grown exponentially. So now I have a family, the whole family's home, so I've got to, you know, I'm always now cleaning you got something. Team. And somebody's, well, no, no, they don't clean, brother. Uh, I'm, I'm, still, I'm, look, I am the master. Still on the dad duty. I'm still on dad duty all the time. Bathrooms, laundry, kitchen. Yeah, and then and then what, what's really crazy is everybody knows how to cook. So everybody's always in here cooking, uh, making some cookies, making a cake, man. cooking it's something. Never ending. Yeah. So I've always it's got dishes. Ending. I've always got something to do. Yeah. But as I tell, I'm just glad you're here, man. Worry, brother. I'm glad I am too. Thank I'm you, ready, man. I'm gonna check on Thanos one moment. He's gonna check on the little guy. You know where Thanos is? Yeah. Is he in there? Oh, is he by the door? Huh? That's cool. I see it. Oh, okay. Oh no, there yeah, he is. He's yeah, he's seated. I figured he was laying down somewhere. Yeah. No, he's chilling. He's a good oh, dog, though, dude. Like he's cute. he's he's had like a few accidents in the house. He is a but body. but he's exactly well. See, that's my thought process. Like that's how I think. Yeah. But the accidents that he's had, I will tell you, has not been on my watch. It's been when somebody else says they're gonna watch him, they always let him tinkle in the house at some point, and I'm like, mm -hmm. how funny is that? Like. Every time, from the time I brought him home to present, he's peed and pooped outside for me, mm -hmm. out out here. Yeah. But for these guys, not the case. He did tinkle on me um, today, though. It was funny because 
he had just been out here to pee. Mm -hmm. And just before I left to go get, take my daughter to lunch, mm -hmm. I went in the bathroom and he came in the kids' bathroom and <laughs> got a little bit of puppy pee pee going. But like I said, too, he's still learning bladder control and maybe, everything. Maybe else, it was so, healthy tinkle. Right? But he's he's been a good boy. He's learning how to come to his name. So he's, he's figuring it out. I love that. Look at that. I mean, yeah, he just looks tall. awesome. He's just. So, uh, Great Dane, yeah, right. him in Clovis, very but now nice. I've got to freaking get him to the vet next week. The way he and, sits uh, looks very regal, right? I got to get him to the vet next week so we can make sure that you know he's Gets his shots dewormed and, and all that shit. Because the thing with this dude was it's, it's so crazy, like, I've never bought a dog from like outside of the city, so or you know, if I have Thanos. Or if I've gone up to like oh, real he's rancho, throwing a munch on that slide. Cause yeah, cause I got yum, 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 yum. I got uh, cheesecake from Rio Rancho. Oh yeah. And then this dude was out there, but I always feel like people who live out in those areas, they always have oh shit. Oh, you okay? You okay. Yeah. They always have. I thought you were gonna. <laughs> I thought you were gonna eat with it. Ticks and this and that. So when we brought him home, he was he. Man, he was he had like mad ticks. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So while we were driving, Erica was picking ticks off from little, and they were like minuscule. Yeah. Like, like I don't have ticks in my yard. Right. And so I'm not used to having to pluck them off. I had a tick in my Even back when I was in the army. Is. But when I was in the army, I had a tick in my back, oh, my lower back. Serious? I took, and then there was one day I got in the shower after we had all come back from the field, mm -hmm. and somebody else had washed the tick off themselves, and that motherfucker latched onto me. And I had to pop that fucker off. I was like, that's disgusting. So, yeah, so that was gross. Then when I went to Desert Storm, there was a tick about this big. He was full. And, um,. Wait. We, we stepped on it and that fucker just exploded. Seriously, was, that yeah, big? Yeah, it was huge. It was dragging itself across the goddamn ground. And my man JJ stepped on that shit and blood just shot out from under his boot. I thought, it, I'll put it this way if you saw the movie Land of the Lost with mm -hmm. Will Ferrell, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that was about what that tick reminded me of. Because that That's blood, that, that disgusting amount of blood just shot right out of that bad boy. Cheesecake. She what wanted, are you doing? You want to be on camera? Yeah, Get that's out of what here. It is. She wants to be seen. She's like, I need to be seen. Everybody needs to know I'm here. I'm I need like, my 15 seconds. Right? I'm like, you don't need 15 seconds of fame on my tip. But uh, again, this is Dad Chop, where we Coming at you. Chop, 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 chop it up. Dad, dad style. style. And uh, we shall return. Bleep, bleep.